you hear the hottest, latest music every single day on Chamberlain's Hot Hit. And that's not going to change. In fact, today, I wanted to make it even more special. We've got the man behind the music himself. But before we have a chat with him, this, guy, this guy's got a pretty cool history. He's got a really cool story. But let me tell you about it. Take a listen to this. This is an amazing version of Royals. Lord would be proud. And we'll never be Royals. It's a run in our blood. That kind of looks just ain't for us. We crave a different kind of buzz. Let me be your girl. That was uh, Chris Verger's blind auditions on The Voice. And I understand why I got a lean from your asphalt's brother, Bobby, turned around and gave this man the nod. Chris, man, what a performance. You had so many people with goosebumps that night. <laughs> Thanks, Kenzie. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, I just got back from work today and I'm just making supper. Yeah, so it's, it's been a good day. Well, welcome to Jacaranda FM. It's pretty cool having you hang around today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's, it's really nice to, to chat to you. So here's the thing. You're going to be a huge name soon, very, very soon. And, and I want to I give you a little <laughs> suggestion. So when you have your concerts outside, when people are buying their, their food, you need to have a stand called mm. Virgas Burgers. Because that, that way, people get to know your surname, plus they get fed, that, and you know what I mean? That, that's a very good point. That, that was actually one of my nicknames in high school. There so we go. It, it's quite appropriate, yeah. There we go. I'm, I'm just saying, man. It, it, make your money any way you can, plus get your name out there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris, you got a brand new, you got a brand new single up. Before we get to that, uh, let's go mm. back to your debut album, Exposure. In uh, January mm. 2015, uh, you mm. you dropped your debut album. That must have been a pretty exciting time for you. Uh, very, yeah. It was also very like uh, very nerve wracking because uh, I just it was like the first big thing I done, I did, and I think I was like I was like struggling with a lot of anxiety just uh, like around the release and you know is it going to do well? You know how are people going to perceive perceive it and like you know and and all those those kind of things um, with expectations and. And and yeah, all of all of that just it, it just made it a very stressful time, but it was at the same time a very exciting time because it's like you've taken all these songs you've written over the years, and this is like your dream, and you and you actually doing something with that. So it, it, it was really exciting. Yeah, uh, you opened up for James Blunt. That was, that must have been a moment. Yeah, that was that was um, <laughs> a couple <of> months later. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just I just knew a, a friend of mine uh, worked at Grand West, and they were looking for an opening act and. And he put me forward to uh, James's touring manager, and he said, "Cool, like book him." So, I literally found it on the morning of the gig. Wow! Um, which was pretty surreal. Yeah. So, it's like kind of a one in a million <laughs> chance or moment, you know? Yeah. Um, but I did the gig, and it was really fun. And I, I met it backstage um, afterwards, um, just by chance. Uh, and yeah, he's a very cool guy. And yeah, it's it's a very surreal moment. <laughs> you know, being part of a, a show like The Voice or any kind of talent competition like that on a national scale yeah. like that is one nerve wracking. But I think at the same time, the exposure that you get from that and being able to share your talent must be a feeling that very few people can describe. Yeah, it, it, it's 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 an incredible feeling, um, like feel like seeing yourself on TV and, mm -hmm. um, but but also just just being able to like surrounded by so many other talented like um musicians and individuals and just being a part of the show was really really fun um and very exciting yeah would you do it again if you could if, if it was a chance you're like yo i can do this again and what would you do differently if you could i would definitely do it again um and what i would do is i would take um like not a breathalyzer but they <gasps> it's like a it's like an acclimatizer ah. machine. Um, a lot of the guys are actually doing it because in Joburg, if we like, I come from Cape Town, so mm -hmm. when we go up to Joburg, it's very dry and like obviously the altitude's a bit higher. So a lot of us were struggling with our sinuses and just mm -hmm. the dryness in the air. So some guys were doing like a, it's kind of like like just a altitude like device or something. Like kind of you just breathe it through it and it, it just helps get moisture into your, your chest and your lungs I guess but uh, yeah that was something I would do <laughs> and also I would just I would just go in uh, uh, I think with more uh, um, rehearsal as well like just working on my vo voice like doing warm up scales I was doing a lot of that but my voice wasn't as strong as, as now as it, as it was or 
it, yeah, it wasn't strong then as it is now. I got you. Um, okay. Yeah. I hear yeah. you. You've got a brand new single, Feel. Tell me about this. Yeah, so it, it's quite an it's quite an honest song, actually. Uh, it's uh, No one's really asked me about it yet, like in an interview per se, but it actually deals with um, something that's quite a personal thing for me, which is uh, a battle with anxiety and depression and through through like the last few years that's been sometimes i've gone through periods of that and it's really uh it's quite an upbeat um like positive song but at the same time it's, it's reflecting um the pain and the emotional turmoil of a, that kind of battle with mental health and it's and it's that battle that i'm like singing these these words through and um like yeah and and basically some, sometimes just acknowledging that sometimes the way we feel is mm-hmm. the reality and even if someone says hey like don't be so hard on yourself or you know life's good but um sometimes the way we're feeling is like is is our reality and and it's just kind of an expression of that is that sometimes although i want to feel better sometimes you're just feeling down and, yeah. and no matter how many people say hey just you know it's, it's all right it's fine <laughs> The way you're feeling is what is real for you. So that's kind of what the song is about in a nutshell. Um, yeah. Uh, it's available on uh, all digital platforms for us to buy? It is, yeah. Um, all Apple Music, Spotify, iTunes, Deezer, Worldwide. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll find it. It's called Feel. Yeah. And it's and it's, it's really, it's one of, I think it's one of the best songs I've written. Um, it's just really upbeat. It's poppy. Um, I've got a friend of mine, Daniel Barron, to produce it. Nice. And he really brought like a beautiful... Uh, pop like African flair to it which mm. which I really love yeah alright well I like that you're selling your own song because people have to vote for it right uh, and yeah. here's the deal it's your baby you've been working on this for a long time it's finally out in the world we get to share it with yeah. you how about you introduce the song yourself uh, so here we go just about to hear it for the very first time on Jacaranda <laughs> FM it's tonight's Chamberlain's hot hit here we go Chris hi my name is Chris Ferger and you're listening to my new single called Feel It's brand new. It's today's Chamberlain's Hot Hit.